Tonight's storm is leading the city to evacuate a temporary migrant shelter in Brooklyn. News 4's Erica Byfield is live at Floyd Bennett Field in Marine Park, where officials are concerned those high winds, we can see them there, could topple those tents. Erica? Yeah, Gilma, exactly what we're dealing with right now is exactly what the officials here are telling us that they're worried about. You can see here behind me some of the yellow school buses that are here at this location that are taking people out. Probably within the last five minutes or so, we saw the first batch of 10 buses leave this facility. If I look here behind me, I see at least three lined up now ready to go. Officials, again, are telling us they're doing this out of concern. The threat of high winds has 500 migrant families packing up. City officials overseeing their temporary tent housing at Floyd Bennett Field made the call this afternoon. So we're not going to take risks with families, with children, or with anybody in our care. This impacts about 2,000 people, so instead they'll ride out the storm, packing about 70 mile per hour winds 20 minutes away inside of a school auditorium at James Madison High School. Buses will ferry everyone away. The goal is to get most people out by 9 p.m. The worst of the weather that we're really sort of preparing for is really between midnight and 2 a.m. That's the period where we're going to have high winds. We've shown you the conditions inside the Brooklyn tent complex. Parents and their kids have separate nooks inside this facility. The city's emergency management commissioner says that the tents can withstand pounding wind, but they're not staked into the ground because this is an old federal runway, unlike the tents on Randall's Island and outside of Creedmoor. There's no anticipation or nothing in the forecast that would lead us to think that we're going to have to evacuate those facilities as well. For now, the thought is the Brooklyn families will have to hunker down at that school for just one night. We are doing this out of an abundance of caution. So again, these uh, school buses are going to head about 15 to 20 minutes away from here to go to Madison High School where they will spend the night. Officials are telling us that there will be buses here uh, 